So the debate was in terms of the fact that would you continue to stay with somebody and ask for their passcode if they have cheated on you in a relationship along those lines. And in the midst of it, Artelia really just gets heated and upset and you can just see that she really is just stressed and it's just quite interesting to see because we've never seen her in this light. Hey guys, it's Marlon Morale. Hope you guys are doing well today. So the debate part of the episode, this question was, I would say, interesting because it obviously brings a different perspectives and I like the fact that it does. But we obviously have Carnage who opens it up and is very passionate throughout and explains that this particular individual has disrespected me. Why am I continuing this relationship? You have cheated. Goodbye. Let's close the curtains. There's no need. And what I realized is, although I do agree that there is a form of disrespect, what I realized with Carnage is that Carnage is unable to see different perspectives. It's just this particular perspective. This is what I believe. In. This, is, this is what I believe in, this person, this person has disrespected me, that's the end of it, it is what it is. And again, this is why I like Gogan, I feel like he really is becoming the logical force of this season, most definitely, um, alongside Rebar, but mainly him. And we have him at the end you know, and throughout saying that you may want to leave, that person may have disrespected you, but it's a relationship and if it's a marriage especially, you have to fight for it if you believe that's what you need to do. And Lucas obviously coattailed him and was saying, you know, the how he was quoting saying that um, it's a partnership, it's not just a relationship. If that's your partner, somebody has cheated, you may want to have to work, you may want to have to work through it. You may want to have to just think about it, sit down, discuss, talk, you know, it may stress you out. You may want to leave in seconds. And um, although I did agree with Chamber's point where she was saying that if you, catch your partner off guard and they're innocent, most likely they're going to be innocent. Which is true, most likely, but they could have a burner phone. You just, you don't really know, but at the end of the day, you would feel comfortable with that person in a relationship to know that they are good, if that makes sense. Like, you would know that that individual is not cheating on you X, Y, Z, because you know them for a while. But then again, we don't really know people, but you should be able to have this common sense, this logical sense that the person that you're with isn't doing anything or isn't, you know, at some event with girls like Tristan and so forth, like you just, you should have that common logical sense with somebody and if you don't, and if you're questioning stuff, it's time, to have that com it's time to have that conversation and induce some form of healthy communication. But you know, it was very interesting, especially when Honey was speaking, Esther's face like was just like in pure disgust. What you wanna do, yeah? There's a, no matter if you're 10, no matter if you're 12, no matter if you're 15, no matter how old you are, you have a choice. When you're making a choice to do something... And like, I get it, this person has disgusted you. This, this person has, you know, disgusted about you being a bad mother and talking about X, Y, Z and betrayed you. But it's like, you're in a house together, just try and be quite civil. Because if you want somebody to come up to, and to apologise to you, you making these irritable faces when somebody, when that person speaks, shows that you don't really want that apology. You just like the drama that's going on between you two. And I just found that quite to be unprofessional. But um, I did like the fact that everybody was kind of waiting, waiting for Reva. And Reva's perspective is very interesting, where she was saying that it's all about possession and the fact that you have an expectation. It's a combination of these two, where you have an expectation for the person that, you're, you're, that is your partner, that is your possession, you own them and they own you, you work together. And therefore, when you have a, this expectation that you own them and they own you and they go off and do something else, it causes a ruckus. It causes a massive irritation. You're confused, you're annoyed, you're meant to be together. It's like some form of contract you made, like a mental contract. So she was saying that she would go into a relationship and that that individual would be a good father and that they can play around with anybody they want because she doesn't have that possession mentality, which we all naturally have anyways. Hold on, this is possession is where betrayal and heartbreak and all that derive from. When we feel like you belong to me, I belong to you, this is our right, and when you step out of there, you get me, you've done me wrong. Now, the only reason why I, I feel that you can do me wrong is because you belong to me. Like, we put, you get what I mean? And when you have built expectations and obviously people cross them, regardless of what they are, you are going to be shattered, upset, annoyed. It's point blank, period. So I did really quite like this episode debate review only because everybody was coming from such a different perspective. Carnage was like, this is it, you know, I'm out. Rima was coming from possessions and combination and the, and the mentality and the depth from it. Then you have Lucas and you have Gogo. He were kind of like bringing it back to the question. And we're, you know, Lucas was saying, if Carnage believes that, it's okay for you. But then we have Artelia's kind of relationship situation. And this is where she gets stressed out of nowhere. She talks about her situation when she was 17. And you know, she was getting a bit um, iffy with Chirma and Esther. And you can see that they were a bit like, okay. Like you can tell that Artelia won't really take stuff for stuff. Like she won't take it. She just simply won't. And she was a bit bothered. And was just saying that, you know, I went through X, Y, Z and so forth. And I was 
only 17 and I wanted to get back and I waited with him for two years and then, and then I cheated on him because I fell out of love and you know she really was you know arguing back when Esther was disagreeing so there's a back and forth going between these two but we haven't really seen Artelia like this where her character is a bit different where she's you know she even expressed herself that she hasn't really been herself which I don't blame her because you know when you're a new person it can be a bit iffy here and there but she, there we go, we are seeing a, we're seeing a new light and a bit of a, I don't want to say aggressive because I don't think she was aggressive but like passionate in what she believed in and she was being argumentative uh, we haven't really seen her in that light so that was definitely interesting so now we're getting different perspectives, we're getting people coming out of their characters you know we've got people who are bringing the question back to the topic which was definitely useful to say thank you guys for watching this particular debate review let me know what you guys think of it, let me know what you guys for the debate topic, or are you against it? What do you think of Artelia? What do you think of Carnage's point? Do you agree with Esther and Shem what they were saying? Or Reva's possession mentality point? Thank you guys for watching. Hit me up on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali is my Instagram, and definitely follow me and definitely subscribe to this channel. I would massively, massively appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys soon.